Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a topic that Houstonians know all too well, thriving in Houston. Let's go. All right, first things first. If you're moving to Houston, you're going to need a car. You may be able to get around with public transportation inside the loop or downtown, but you are probably going to have to go outside of that and you need Uber and that gets super expensive. So highly recommend getting a car. Let's talk about the Houston car culture. So Houston is huge and I'm not talking about just like big city huge, but I'm talking sprawling huge. Houston covers about 640 miles, which is about the size of Rhode Island. So unlike cities that have a very well-established transportation system, we drive everywhere. Let's talk about the highways. Our highways are huge. Some of them have eight lanes in either direction. And you'd think that would spare us some of the traffic, but no, it's still really busy. In Houston, we have tons of tollways. We've got the Hardy Toll Road, we have Sam Houston Tollway, we have the West Park Tollway, and then we have the Grand Parkway or 99, which is like a giant loop around the city. And these do really help us save time, but they come at a cost. I highly recommend getting an easy tag once you get here. And this is a tag you put in the window and it's gonna help you blow right through all of those toll booths without stopping. The only decision, of course, is how much is it worth to save like 20 minutes of traffic. All right, let's talk about rush hour. Rush hour in Houston is from like 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and like 4 to 7 p.m. The Galleria area is like always in rush hour. And if you're trying to get to Galveston on the weekend, just be prepared to sit on 45 on Fridays and Sundays. Also, if it's raining during rush hour, forget it. Just be prepared that you're gonna be sitting in traffic. I would plan an extra 20 minutes to your commute. Just put on a good podcast call your mom and get comfortable with the fact that you're just going to be in your car for a bit longer. Let's talk about road etiquette. In Houston, it is super rude to honk your horn. I know our friends up north in New England, they use their horn like a blinker, but here it is really rude and it will cause a lot of anger and a riot, so don't do that. Also, we find it very nice to allow our friends pulling in on freeways to come in and you give them space. So allow them their room. It just makes things so much nicer. Finally, we don't really adhere to the slower cars in the right lane philosophy. Unfortunately, really, it's just whoever is the fastest just goes around whatever lane happens to be free. So just be prepared. Also, the highways are really fast. So people really do drive very fast. So if it makes you a little bit nervous, which is understandable, just stick to the feeder roads and take those for a while or just sneak yourself into the right hand lane and get comfortable with the speed at which us Houstonians drive. Oh, here's a fun fact. In Houston, we measure distance in time and not in miles. So for example, most people say, I live about five miles from there. No, in Houston, we say, oh, I live about 25 minutes from there because honestly, time is what really matters. And now we have to talk about Houston weather. It rains here a lot. And Houston rain isn't just like a light sprinkle. It's the kind that will turn a casual drive into an obstacle course. Roads here flood fast. When you're on the road, you'll notice that puddles can turn into mini lakes after just a few minutes of heavy rain. So when it starts pouring, watch out for those low lying areas because they can go from zero to underwater in no time. And yes, you'll see people here trying to drive through high water, but don't be those people. Sometimes it's better to pull over and just wait it out. All right, so in a nutshell, that is Houston driving. It can be a bit chaotic, but you learn to go with the flow. And don't forget to plan in time and not in miles. That is the Houston way. All right, I hope that was helpful and I will see you out there.